Welcome. If you've never been to the Costco Business Center in West Edmonton, it's quite the experience. It's like a whole new planet compared to the usual Costco's that we go into. Let's go in and take a look at what they have. First, I saw this Turbo Air 60-foot refrigerator prep station. You don't typically see those at Costco's. They got some thermo sealers and vacuum sealers. They range all the way from about $90 up to $800 and even more. And of course, they have the bags that you'll need, packs of 100 different sizes of those vacuum bags. Like this little bean soup kettle. Kind of cool, $99.99, reminded me of an old kitchen restaurant type of kettle. Usually at our Costco, we see one or two different types of lower kind of standard blenders. At the business center, they have the heavy duty ones, the 16 inch heavy duty big stick. And then they have the quick stick on for about $145. Lots of knives, big knife display case that we typically don't see at the regular Costco. And pots and pans galore, seven quart three and a half quart, five and a half quart, and an eight and a half quart saucepans. Lots to choose from. Frying pans, thought this was a good deal. A two pack of cast iron skillets for $45.99. They had other skillets as well. Again, different sizes, different name brands, KitchenAid and Meyer. Lots to choose from in terms of your kitchen appliances. And rolling pins, not just one size. We have the 18 inch, the 37 and a half centimeter, 32 and a half centimeter. And if you've got a young one, a couple high chairs, a wood one and a plastic one. And hey, you want to be the envy of the neighborhood? Get yourself one of these. Clean up the kitchen real quick. I'm used to seeing employees drive those at Costco, not sell them. <laughs> we have the Glad takeaway food containers, couple different sizes, and we've got some of the cardboard box food containers as well. If you're having a big party and want to send some food home with the guests, again, kind of the surplus warehouse type of uh, food containers and paper towel dispensers. Again, this was really foreign to me. I don't see these kind of things at my regular Costco. So seeing these for the first time was kind of an eye opener at the business center. So I walk into the uh, big, huge walk-in cooler, many different varieties of meat. Not gonna go through the prices because the prices will change probably every day or two, but a lot of variety in terms of the, the types of meat that you can purchase and some wine glasses. If you're looking for a big supply of the little plastic wine glasses, $18.99. And what goes well with wine? I felt like I was in Europe seeing all these varieties and big blocks of cheese, the Gouda, the Swiss, the mozzarella, tons of different cheese choices in terms of the blocks of cheese, or even in terms of you can get different slices of cheese as well. Some that are suited more for burgers, some for subs. Again, so many different uh, choices that you have. And I've never seen a place that had so many beverages, so many palettes of different soft drinks, different types of water that you can purchase. Again, just something that I don't typically see at a regular Costco. So if you've never been to the business center in West Edmonton, you got to go there at least once to see what it's all about. But I have to warn you, you may not want to go shopping if you're really, really thirsty. Just so many different juices and beverages to choose from. Baguettes, if you want some uncooked baguettes, you can get a pack of 32, decent price for those. And don't let the kids see this because they have these big 11 liter barrels of ice cream, chocolate, vanilla, strawberry for $25. Lots of big tubs of relish, pickles. You have your strip cut pickles, your hamburger sliced dills for $45. 
And again, you like your poutine? You can get this big tub of poutine sauce, $130. And of course, we're in Canada, eh? Got to show you the maple syrup, $219 for the big vat of maple syrup. Of course, they got a big loading zone if you purchase a lot of things there. Our haul picked up some of the plastic wine glasses, some cheese, a couple cast iron pans, some pork for pulled pork, and some bacon. And with no gas bar at the Edmonton Business Center Costco, I guess you could say it's gasless. <laughs> Have a wonderful weekend. Thank you for supporting me on the YEG Costco Lover Facebook page and the YouTube Life in Alberta channel. Have a wonderful weekend. And leave a comment about your thoughts about the Edmonton Business Center Costco.